All right, welcome back to the Nice Fast channel, and today we have for you two and a half unboxings. Two and a half, you say? <laughs> well, you can see two packages on the table, and then we got a uh, an actual uh, letter in the mail from someone else. So we're going to go through, uh, we're going to say hi to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and the whole gang, and thanks for all those who support the channel and all the friends of the channel, uh, and let's get into it, guys. Uh, so... Our um, unboxing knife today is going to be the Artisan Arian or Arian or something like that. And uh, we're going to get started here. So I believe these two knives um, are going to both be CRKT knives. And they're both going to come by way of the Apex Pass Around Group. Uh, no, excuse me. One by way of the Apex Pass Around Group and another one I'll explain in a moment. So uh, this first one does come from... Uh, the Apex Pass Around Group uh, by way of CRKT. And uh, this one is, as I said, a CRKT. And this, I believe, yes it is, is the uh, Oaks Design, Eric Oaks Designed, um, well, shouldn't put trash on the table, the uh, Trask, uh, T-R-A-S-K. So this uh, is one I've been looking forward to getting my hands on. And kind of trying to see, I could middle finger flick it. There we go. Uh, let me see if I can clean that blade up a little bit here. Again, haven't seen a lot of CRKT knives since I have been uh, kind of stepping up my reviews. So I was looking forward to this. Uh, Eric is one uh, that I really like his designs. And so I thought I would get a hold of this one and kind of see what I thought of it. Um, and uh, go from there. So uh, this is a, I'm like, where is the lock? Oh yeah, it is a deadbolt lock. Uh, and this will be the first uh, deadbolt lock I have seen on the channel. So uh, very interesting. It's just not one I have gotten my hands on yet. Uh, there we go. Sorry, I was adjusting the light a little bit there. So uh, excited for that. Let's see. So it's not super drop shut, guys. You got to kind of help it out a little bit. Um, and I was able to middle finger flick it a couple of times. But there we go. Uh, it does have a really cool finger choil and some really nice ergos, guys. I'm, I'm really digging the ergos on this one. You get locked in uh, really nicely. Um, so we're going to take this one and um, you know run it through its paces, carry it a little bit, kind of see what we think, or we, what I think. Um, and this is a look at sort of how that deadbolt works. That piece comes out there. Uh, you can see that. And so uh, locks up pretty tight. A little bit of wiggle there, but I wouldn't call it blade play. Just kind of blade wiggle, I guess you'd say. Um, yeah, really nice looking knife. We'll give this one a try and see what we have. So let's cut open... The second one, and uh, guys, I'm trying to keep these off camera so I don't show addresses, but again, the Arion is the knife of choice. I'm going to cut this open at the top so it's good that I have it. Okay, so this is another CRKT. So this is an interesting story, guys. I was originally going to get this one through the Apex group, and then I was talking to my buddy Lefty EDC Kevin about this knife, and he really wanted to get a hold of it. Uh, and, and can you guys guess why Kevin wanted to get a hold of this knife? If you watch his channel, you probably can. Yeah, he wants to take it apart. Uh, so this is uh, another CRKT, and this is a Leong Ma designed Lanny. Uh, it is something you don't see a lot of on the channel because it's not my favorite, but I really wanted to take a look at it because a lot of you have told me you kind of like the idea that CRKT is adding some assist to their knives. Wow really flies out of there and I can one-handed close it. Um, but when Lefty and I were talking about this, he was like, wow, that's beautiful. And he kind of likes Leong Ma's work. So he's like, hey, I, I kind of want to take a look at it and kind of take it apart, see what we're dealing with. So uh, I'll get it. So he got this and I was hoping there was going to be a card in the box because he, let me double check. Uh, he got this from White Mountain Knives, guys. Uh, Kev uh, has a good relationship with those guys over there at White Mountain, so check them out. I think Kevin might even have uh, a code. I can't remember what it is, but 
I do know uh, that he has a, a discount code over there. I've never uh, ordered from White Mountain, so I might have to fix that. But uh, you can definitely um, know Kevin. Kevin, uh, this is where Kevin got this one. So uh, super cool looking knife, guys. Uh, love this texture and the beautiful blue accents, the blue backspacer, the blue clip. Um, and you know what? I'm, I'm actually not minding the assist because it is super light. Um, I am very much able to operate this one-handed. Um, again, I don't need it to be assisted if it's well done. Let's see if I can. No, I cannot get my middle finger into that fuller. It is too low. So it is a flipper, guys. I, I mean, I'll try some more and just see if I can, um, but it's not happening. It is a liner lock and uh, good access to the liner there. Really, really nicely uh, well done. And so I'll show you the third thing I got today, or two and a half, I guess I said, because, uh, again, like I said, Kevin actually purchased that knife. Uh, Kev, Kevin from Lefty EDC, and he also sent me a letter today with some of his awesome uh, Lefty EDC stickers. Um, I love that holographic one there. Uh, but there you go, Kevin, Lefty EDC. Check him out. If you're not already following Kevin, which I bet you are, uh, or subscribing to him or following him on Instagram, check him out. I'll put his info down in the description as long as I actually remember to do so. Uh, but thanks, Kevin. I appreciate you you sending that knife along, and I will uh, use it and carry it and enjoy it, and then I will send it back on to you so you can uh, delight everyone with your with, <laughs> with your rantings and ravings and uh taking this one apart but guys i gotta tell you um i i am digging this knife i'm i'm liking the looks that compound grind is really beautiful uh the ergos are good i wish kind of wish it had a finger choil it really doesn't that is a sharpening choil um but even without that uh it is nice so we're gonna carry this one and i will let you know what i think it's also fairly lightweight um, so yeah, digging this one a lot. So thanks Kevin for sending this along. So thanks to David at Blade Banner, uh, from the Apex Passion Run Group and CRKT for sending the Trask and then, uh, Lefty EDC and White Mountain Knives, uh, for hooking me up with the Lanny. So, uh, all kinds of exciting knives here right now, guys, you know, I have those five artisan knives that are coming your way in review very soon. Um, I have some knives from, uh, JB, a big red EDC that you've already seen one review and another one coming up. Uh, and then uh, just got some cool knives in, as you saw on my live stream, hopefully, from Tour Knives. And you're going to see those reviews. Uh, well, I got a knife and a EDC tool, and you're going to see the reviews on those coming up fairly soon. So, again, thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and some comments. Let me know what you think of what you've just seen. And uh, let's discuss it. And, guys, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Check out my Patreon and 10% uh, off at Tour Knives uh, down in the description. And thanks to all those who support the channel. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.